But he's just coming up on 742. And we're with Paul McNaughton this morning, who is the principal at Cabby. Tell us, Paul, what makes your school unique? Well, um, every student that comes to our school has one thing in common, and that's that they haven't um, been successful in the regular school system. So um, we try and do everything we can to connect kids to our building, to uh, give them hope, to uh, get them to believe that they can be successful. So we really try and make sure, if it didn't work for them in their old school, why would we give them the same thing in a different building. So we really try to be unique in what we do and creative and, and really tailor programs to kids. So. All right, now we can tell people why today is the day that you're on this program. Mm -hmm. Leah Pell's great friend of the show mm -hmm. made a point of getting in touch with us here at BT because you have been bestowed a great honor mm -hmm. being named one of Canada's most outstanding principals. Yeah, thanks. Tell us about that. When did you hear um, about that? Is it like getting the call when you won an Oscar? That's pretty yeah. impressive. Well, th it was all initiated by my staff, which makes it really special because um, it's not just winning an award, random award. They felt uh, upon themselves to put this together. And, uh, and so that's what makes it really special is that it's something that came from them. And so they told me they were doing it, and then I got an email. Let's show a picture of your staff because they, sure. they know how to... Uh well, enjoy yeah. life, let's say. This is Pirate Day? This was uh, Halloween. <laughs> Halloween yes. Yeah, Halloween. We, we like themes. Uh, we're a big theme school. So, uh, And what's great is obviously everybody's dressed up, and, and uh, that kind of rubs off on the students, right? So uh, They all wanted to send their best, and uh, mm -hmm. they, you know, really are so proud of you. Give us. Uh, we're going to show the Santa shot now. Let's show Santa, because you, you do embrace... The Christmas season. Oh yeah, season. it's really important in our school. We, uh, we, um, that's me with Santa. Yeah, um, we do a huge thing for our students at Christmas. So we, all the staff get together. The community uh, helps support it as well, and we do a huge Christmas dinner. And and I think for some of our students, um, they don't get a lot of uh, maybe that celebration. So we give presents to every kid, and it's just kind of the culture we're trying to build with our students to get them connected and feel a part of something. So it's a big deal for if, us. If there's a viewer watching right now who thinks that Cabby might be a good fit for their child. Mm -hmm. given the philosophy that you've shared with us so far in this discussion uh, how do they go about that most of the referrals um, come from the home school we've, we've worked really hard with our as a district to to support students within the, the larger schools but there just comes a time maybe when a student isn't quite um, doing doing well or struggling or, or just for whatever reason it, it's just not they're not progressing towards graduation so we um, we work really well uh, well with the schools within our district to get referrals and then sometimes referrals come from um, outside the school we really only service the kids in our school district because we only have so much space but uh, um, we do get some people who just come in for a conversation and talk about it. So. Excellent. Well, you, when you sat down, I said, nice choice of uh, wardrobe. Oh, you said, oh, come you. on, shameless plug. I'm plugging Shameless it, yes. plug time. Absolutely, yeah. Love is louder than bullying. Than bullying. Yeah, so we're going to do something a little different in Coquitlam this year. We believe it's 24-7, not just uh, wearing a pink shirt once a year. So black is the new pink. That's our uh, that's our logo. So uh, we're hoping to have a, uh, everybody wearing black shirts on the 26th and uh, just make a, a awareness of bullying that it's happening. In we will make, make a point of doing that with you. Absolutely. So. Uh, your one, the root of your philosophy, what makes you want to be a principal more than anything else? What, what, what got you to this? Uh, I've always been, I, I think I'm in the, I think sometimes you, you get into the job you really love and I've always kind of uh, liked working with kids that, uh, and students that didn't, uh, didn't get it right away and I, I consider myself a bit of an advocate for the underdog and, uh, um, and it's, really, it's really satisfying to work in a building where you can really see a change in students and you can really see them uh, get success when they didn't think they were going to be successful so that's kind of the, the, that's why I love working with the people that I work with because they are they are huge advocates for those kind of students. So they're all cheering you on right yeah, now, watching thanks. Breakfast Television. Paul, thank you for being with us. Thank this you, morning. Jody. Yeah. Appreciate it. We'll My see pleasure. you again soon. And definitely, black is the new pink. Yeah, you heard absolutely. it here first. <laughs>